hi and welcome to this section of uh, the playlist so in this video we're going to talk about setting up the comments uh, model for the blog post section so basically we're going to be creating a few fields named uh, posts name body and dates so we're first going to start by creating a model named comments and it's going to inherit from models or model so the first field that we're going to create is going to be the name field now this field basically takes in the name of the person that is commenting. So we're going to equate that to a models or character field and set the max length to be 225. Now the next field we need to specify is the post name. And we're going to assign that to a models or foreign key. Now what this means is that we're trying to associate the comment model to the post model. So what that means is that every single comment is going to be assigned to a particular post meaning that a particular post is going to have several comments under it or can have several comments under it. So we're going to pass in posts into the foreign key field and then we're passing in on delete equals models or cascade. So what that basically means is that anytime a blog post gets deleted, it's also going to delete every single comment that is associated with that blog post. Now the next field we need to uh, specify a body. So we equate body to a models or text field. And then in the date field, we equate that to a models or date time field and we set auto now add equals to true. What that simply means is that at that particular time that the blog post is being saved to the database, we need it to log that time and save it in database. So what we now simply need to do is we need to return um, how we want this model to be displayed in the admin panel. So I'm going to say return str self the post name. Now the next thing we need to do is go to the admin.py file and we now need to register this new model in our admin.py file so that we can see it in the admin dashboard. Now after doing this, we need to make our migrations and migrates. So we run python manage.py make migrations. We are uh, running these commands because we just added our uh, new models to our models.py file. So the next command is python manage.py migrate. Then the next thing we need to do is run our server and try to view this comments uh, model in the admin dashboard. So when the server is running, we go to our browser and check the admin dashboard. Now when you refresh, you should see a comment uh, section pop up. So let's quickly add a new comment. So we're going to start by giving it a name. We'll give it a random name like David Jones and then assign a random blog post to it and just type in some random stuff in the um, comment section. Now notice the date field isn't showing. This is because it is automatically assigned to each comment. So you can see we saved our post and it is working. So that is basically all we're doing for this video. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to actually make this form work. That is, users will be able to comment from this form in the front end and have that data being saved in the back end. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.